Hi everyone. It is still June 22nd, 2019. I want to point out something here on Darby Bybee's uh, Facebook. Darby Bybee. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name. He's a meteorologist, Little Rock, Arkansas. Read this tweet and I'll read it out loud. This is feeling like the longest severe weather season ever. The good news is it may be the last widespread severe event until the fall. Okay, I want to thank my subscriber who sent this along to me. And she noticed that there's something off with this tweet. Have you, did you get it? Did you pick up on what's off with this tweet? A meteorologist, first of all, we never get any definitive weather forecasts anymore. They're gone. Gone. May possible potential. And we're talking not even 24 hours. We're talking 12 hours or 10 hours or 8 hours away. Well, we may get a severe storm. Why can't they see that on radar? because man is controlling the weather. Now, why would a meteorologist say it may be the last widespread severe event until the fall? Really? Until the fall? So, Darby, did you get some inside information from those who control the weather that, okay, uh, severe weather is going to stop until the fall. Are you picking up on what you read and what you hear from people that this doesn't make sense in the world that, well, we used to live in? It would not happen in the world we used to live in where meteorologists actually were able to give you five-day forecasts that were pretty accurate. Now, forget about it. It ain't happening. But now, they seem to be able to, well, in the very beginning of this year, I think it was January, uh, the National Weather Service, or I don't know who it was, they came out and said that we would be having many tornadoes this year. Well, we sure did. But how could they possibly have forecasted for the year that we would be having hundreds of tornadoes? Or thousands, I think they said. It was quite the number. Because this weather is controlled no longer by Mother Nature, but by man. And militaries, yes. And militaries, uh, they are controlling the weather, or they hire commercial weather modification companies to control the weather. Okay, um, everybody should be able to read this tweet and realize something is very off here. Okay, so he has just given you a forecast for the entire season of summer. May, though. It may be. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, watch for storms today. Tonight, Sunday, and Sunday night. A few may be severe flash flooding, also a concern. So this is for you in Arkansas. Chance for storms later. A chance. They can't later? You can't even forecast storms Yeah, from, I don't know what time this tweet was. Does it say the time? All right, it was today at 8.34 a.m. And later on today, there's a chance of you guys getting strong storms. Chance for storms later today, better chances tonight. Uh, strong storms will be possible. Do you see? Not even within a few hours can they forecast the weather.
will then have more good chances on Sunday. Chance, potential, possible, may, could happen, who knows? Yeah, so the chances on Sunday, which will have even more potential to be severe. And additionally, flash flooding will be possible. Okie dokie, there's your forecast. Do you feel like you know how to prepare for tomorrow? No, you can't know. You might have flash flooding. Uh, these strong storms, they bring hail, lots of wind. I mean, well, how do you, how do you prepare if you don't know what the weather's going to be? We used to know what the weather was going to bring, okay? So I'm just pointing out that it's right in our face. It is right in our face thinks that something's wrong with the weather. And that should prompt every uh, responsible adult to do some research to figure out what the hell, why, why can't they forecast anything? And yet, they can't forecast things within a couple of hours, but they somehow are able to forecast an entire summer, maybe. They forecasted a whopping number of tornadoes in January had they know about that, our world has become something, you know, that we know, we know because we, we've done the research, we have learned that every aspect of life is now controlled by man. Man has usurped the natural processes of life. We know an awful lot. But it's become so friggin' obvious. That, that is what creates the madness when we have to be around so many people who, if they know, they don't care. And those who just simply can't see. Can't see, won't listen, just going on like, hey, life here in the good old U.S. of A. has not changed. Everything's fine. Nothing is fine. All right, I'll I'll link below to this and thank you, uh, thank you. I, I never want to mention names, but thank you to my subscriber who sent this along because yeah, you spotted it. I hope you're all spotting what you're reading and hearing. Yeah, ciao guys.